Okay, guys, so once again, welcome to Dr. Strings Piano Class. Today, what I'm going to teach you is very, very, very powerful. Now, we are coming to learn something very important that is going to change your play, whether you're a beginner. You are intermediate, you are a pro, you need to hear this. It is very, very important for you to hear. So, uh, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and put your comments under the comment section. Now, straight forward to the topic. The, the kind of people who can never ever learn the keyboard. Yes. Have you heard somebody, somebody or some people perhaps talk about this topic before that? There are some kind of people because of age, because of reasons, because of anything, these kind of people can never and ever know how to play the keyboard, even if they tried. And do you fall under these kind of people that you have heard about? So it has let you maybe lost hope in you learning the keyboard. Now, let me clarify this, and I'm going to clear the air about this one, and you'll be very, very okay to hear this, because you know whether to continue the keyboard journey or to stop, whether you are wasting your time or everything, you are just in the process and everything is going to be fine. I'm just going to give you the clue here and it's going to save you once and for all. All I want you to do now is subscribe. Please press on the subscribe button because we are learning many, many things there. That even if you have lost hope in yourself and you think you can't learn, this page, by the grace of God, is going to help you as it has helped many people and we receive testimonies every day. So please subscribe to this channel, like this video. Put your comments under the comment section. Open the notification bell right after subscribing and open all notifications, okay? Now, let's move on. So, the group of people who can never, ever play keyboard. Once I was growing in the keyboard fraternity, I heard this. I heard that they said there are a group of people who can never and ever learn the keyboard. And they gave me examples of, let's say, old men. They said one, people who, have, who are like whose age like have gone for it that people who are too old yes that is the first uh, group of people that i had and the reason they maybe you have also heard this you have also heard this that i'm talking about you can put your comments under the comment section let me clear the air so that your conscience will be free whether to learn the keyboard continue learning it um no matter your age or you should stop so let's check the age the one is age. So is it possible for uh, somebody not to be able to know the keyboard because of his or her age? Because I heard they said old people can never learn the keyboard. And let me clear the air. The first question is, or the first answer is no. No in the sense that you can learn the keyboard on like with, uh, regardless of any age that you are. Ube to me a keyboard, you know. Yeah, be a wedding be a whether you are hundred years, whether you are one year, whether you are two years. They said only children are it's it helps children to know it better. And I'm going to explain it. The reason why I'm okay saying Kalani bit me keyboard ni you know is that um the reason why they said children um are the better people to know the keyboard very well they are in a good position when it comes to age in knowing the keyboard very well is that you see children they don't have uh, let's say they don't think about anything. They don't think too, too much as compared to us. And keyboard learning sometimes requires um, a little bit of your time. Yes. Uh -huh. You may get, you have to get time to learn it very, very well. And you know, um, since children have all the time to play aside going to school, they said they are in the better place to learn the keyboard. And if you are old, you can't learn it. No, it is wrong. If you are old, you can learn it. Nothing. And I'm repeating again, I have evidence because I have, um, let's say, old people that has come to my mentorship and they came here, they came to my mentorship giving me the same excuse that people say that because they are old, they can't learn it. But by the grace of God, right now, they can play very well and, and they are giving testimonies. 
that wow they don't know keyboard could be so easier like that right so no matter your age wise you can really learn the keyboard and be playing powerful <laughs> Okay, so let's continue on. So you can play no matter your age that you have. So let, don't, don't let anyone deceive you that you can't play keyboard because maybe you are too old for it. Nobody is too old for keyboard playing or keyboard learning. Just get time for it. Just um, get some space, little space in your mind for keyboard and see how it's easier. And uh, above all, you can call me because the, people, the person who is teaching you to um, count very well yes someone who has knowledge and who has um what do you call it who has experience in the keyboard field who gets time for you to, and teach you and make it easier for you can call me on 054 193 1255 054 193 1255 and you see how keyboard is going to be cheap for you the second category of people that they said they can never learn the keyboard let's if it's no i will say yes they can't if it's no i will say no they can't learn it if it's yes I'll say yes, they can learn it. So the second category of people that I've heard people saying that these people can never learn the keyboard are people who have language dis like who have language uh, disabilities that uh, who have d language difficulties. Let me put it that way. That's the word language. When we talk of language barrier, it's like maybe um, somebody can sing in English. Somebody only understands English, and the person can sing only in English. So the person maybe have learned the keyboard and can play English songs only. And they will tell you that because you don't understand the other language, that is Spanish, French, Chi, or any other language, you can never learn the keyboard in the art style and play the art style. This, um, what do you call it? This is very wrong, right? It is never right anyway. You can learn the keyboard and play any song in this world. So far as your music ear is opened and you have the quality tuition that you have to get. You see, music does not have any barrier. Music itself is a language, and progressions, playing progressions, progressions breaks every barrier, every language barrier. So, irrespective of any language that you are speaking, uh, or you can, you can speak or you cannot speak, yes, you can play it for anybody singing that language because the person is not singing the language. The person is just using that language to explain it to people who understand that language. But when it comes to the musical aspect of that language, um, rhythms has no language barrier. Yes, so you can play it so far as there is rhythm in that language. And you can as well get a translator, translate, or you can get a way to translate that little song that you want to you play and understand it if you wish to understand it. But when it comes to playing the keyboard for that particular language, nothing holds you back. You can play, just get someone who is good at doing it and go for mentorship. I will commend our mentorship for you because we teach everything here and we make everything simple. This information is very powerful and you need not to leave it out. Now, 0541931255. 0541 the uh, another, another set of people that the, the people say that they can never learn the keyboard. I have heard, I've heard people saying that these kind of people can never learn the keyboard. Ah, uh, these are slow learners. So as far as you are a slow learner, they will say that oh, they, because you you are a slow learner, you can never and ever learn the keyboard. I'm telling you, it is wrong. You can learn the keyboard. Now let me let me teach you this. I have gotten slow, many slow learners in my mentorship, and by the grace of God, we have helped them. Once they come, they tell me that, please, I'm a slow learner, so don't go fast. Take your time. Now, listen to me very well. Everybody has his or her own learning abilities, right? It doesn't mean that you are dumb, right? And you have to get the best mentor. You see, the keyboard playing, your, like how you become good, everything, your professionalism, Depends on the people who teaches you. It is very, very important. Yes. And we know. That is why I always say that you can't struggle yourself and try learning the keyboard on YouTube and social media only. Because somebody called me. He started playing the keyboard when he was at age 20. He's now 45. 20 years gone. 
Quack. He called me and said that, that nothing good has come out of it. He was just trying to learn it on his own. In fact, right? So, um, when you are, even if you are a slow learner, there is a way to teach you and help you know the keyboard. Please, don't lose, don't lose hope. Even if you have lost hope, don't lose hope. Now, get this clear for me. You can learn the keyboard and learn it well. So, for, uh, the reason, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if you are a slow learner, it doesn't mean that you can never and ever play the keyboard. You can learn it and play it and become even better than those who learn faster. Okay? Uh, just that you have to get quality and somebody who is more, um, what do you call it, who is more experienced in teaching and helping, making the keyboard easier for you. So, above all, and they said, the last one I'm going to talk about is education. People say that, people come and they say like, hey, yeah, yeah, uncle school, they say to him, keyboard, no. So it means that people who did not go to or have any quality uh, formal education, they can't play the keyboard. This is very wrong. This is never right in any way. Yes, you can play the keyboard regardless of your educational status, right? Uh-huh. Because keyboard or music doesn't have... Yeah, 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 science or music. We don't do mass. We don't do anything that we do in school in music. Yes, just that we learn English in school and some one to one to things to work in other sectors. Music is an institution on its own. It, it's like uh, learning how to sew, learning how to drive, learn how to do all these things. Yes, sometimes you don't, you go, you, you, you don't need any educational qualification to be able to, uh, to be accepted in these areas. And this is exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Whenever you want to learn the keyboard, don't consider your educational status because it is never important. You can, you can learn the keyboard, become better, and play it well as far as you love it. You get time for it, and you get the best, or you get an experienced mentor to lead you through the journey. So in all, I'm going to say that there is no person in this world who wishes to learn the keyboard that cannot learn. The only group of people who cannot learn the keyboard are this kind of people. People who do not, who do not love the keyboard, people who don't want to um, uh, get time for the keyboard, and people who don't respect music or who don't respect the keyboard. You see, music is an institution on its own. As, as I already said, you can't treat it as a side, something like, oh, this one, um, I'm doing it. I'm, no, it's not game. Keyboard is not a game. It is something serious that is helping and having impact on the society. So please, if you can't take it serious, if you don't have, uh, if you don't believe in yourself, the only people that can learn, cannot learn the keyboard are people who don't believe in themselves that they can learn it. If you believe in yourself, no matter whatever everybody has told you, no matter any qualification or disqualification that anybody has given you, um, in the past years, in the past days, and you have believed it, it's because you believed it that did not make you become able to learn the keyboard. Start clearing your mind on those things. Start believing in yourself. Start having little, little times. Get time for the keyboard. Start looking for proper mentorship, proper somebody who can take you through very well. You see, this keyboard thing, you have to learn it once and for all, and you are free. Then everything is going to be all right for you. So please, the only these are the only people who can never learn the keyboard. People who don't believe in themselves, people who don't uh, love the keyboard, people who don't have time for, for the keyboard, people who believe what others criticize them about, and people who are not determined, and people who don't have good mentors, people who want to learn by themselves all the time in many, many ways because they think they can. These people, Ayana keyboard near them yes. It's very bad, but once you change your mind, you can play it. Nobody can ever tell you that you can't learn the keyboard. Whoever you are listening to me, this is for you. You can do it, you can do it better. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, put your comments in the comment section. Call me on 054-193-1255. Register for a mentorship, start your training right now, and you see that you can perfectly learn the keyboard within one week within some few weeks you see that you have struggled you have struggled for years but within some few weeks you see yourself playing like you never thought yes many people have come and we have the evidences by the grace of god yes stop struggling take the right route take the right decision and start playing like a pro right now zero five four one nine three one two five five please we need only serious people god richie bless you i know you are very very serious yes 
1931251255 and start playing like a pro. Please subscribe to this and like this video, put your comments in the comment section. The name still remains Dr. Shrinks.